Hey guys, quick update on the electronics with some absolutely seamless animation. I found this yesterday, and honestly, I couldn't even go back out to the plane today. Um, I just needed a break, and uh, I just thought I'd make a little video here for those that are interested. I just want you to have a look at this wire that's here. It, it starts at the circuit breakers and travels um, over to the firewall. Uh, passes through the firewall into the sort of fuel pump section and then it snakes its way over to the engine starter solenoid. Now, I wrongfully assumed, however logical it actually is, is that that wire was the power source to operate the switching side of the solenoid. You know, solenoid has four posts, it has a small 12 volt current to open and close a solenoid, which allows the large, almost 300 amps of current to go through to the solenoid. So I assumed that that wire would only ever carry intermittent current, just to engage the starter, then close with zero, with zero current. A, a really reasonable assumption. Uh, however, uh, uh, like I could see there could be a potential issue as the wire is pinched between the stainless firewall um, and that alloy structure that you can see there. Uh, especially, this is especially a problem because the firewall is actually an earthing or a grounding point, which would go back to the negative side of the battery. Uh, well, I was very wrong with my assumption that that wire was for engaging the starter solenoid. That wire is actually the main power source for the master bus. When the plane was built, someone forgot that the, mains, that the main side of the circuit needs positive 12 volts. To solve this, they patched this wire directly off the heavy gauged wire for the starter motor. That wire was then what fed power to the main bus circuit breaker. This powered all of the systems on the aircraft from fuel pumps to avionics. What that means is because it was providing the power, is that any short that happened downstream of the circuit breaker, that entire length of the wire into the, into the fuel pump section, there was no fuel, no, no, no fuel, no fuse protection. This, this would enable up to around 300 amps to short out against the firewall until the wire melted from heat. Uh, imagine an old filament light bulb. The wire would have done this until someone identified the problem, and then the only way to fix this wire from melting down would be to turn off the master switch. I, I really don't think that would matter much considering where it's actually located. It is right next to the main fuel line and fuel pumps. A cheeky thousand degree wire right next to the fuel, I, I don't think turning off the master switch was really going to help. And look, if you haven't seen aviation grade wire, um, here's some pictures. It's got a really thin insulator. Now let's have a look at how close this wire was to earthing out against the firewall and creating a fireball. Um, that's fractions of a millimeter. Uh, or for my Imperial measurement system friends, that's uh, approximately one bee stick. Now, I'm really not showing this to be like, look how good I am at finding problems. This was pure coincidence that I found the problems with that switch, which made me question more and more. It wasn't until I was rewiring the fuel pumps that I thought, uh, what is this thing actually doing? And I followed all of the wires from the battery to the avionics bay of the aircraft. I have now officially concluded that the wiring of the aircraft is fucked. 